this autobiographical? Maybe. But the idea came to me while I was looking at a lone bench alongside of a gentle flowing river. I wondered, what if? What if the bench had a memory? What if the bench remembered everyone who sat upon it? What if when someone sat upon it, it would absorb everything that person ever experienced. Is a bench just a bench? Oh, the stories a bench might tell if it could. Come along and see what benches are all about. There's an empty park bench on the shore of a river where the current carries ripples downstream. The tall grass gently waves in the breeze as a memory on the wind recalls Brenda and Eddie, who once sat here for one moment in time, pledging their feelings of love's eternity to each other. On another late afternoon, a child plays in the park, while her mother sits upon the same bench, praying that the small lump is really nothing to worry about, and if a third opinion might bring different news. She tearfully calls to her child, trying to hide her fear as they begin the return trip home to prepare dinner before Dad gets home from work. On yet another day, an old man carries his rods and tackle, where he will sit on the same bench and watch as his bobber travels short distances between casts, never reaping the bounty of the river. He relives his adolescence and the war he served. He remembers his daughter's broken hearts and his wife's shortcomings. He wonders why he could not see how important he was and how he was needed and loved in spite of his coarseness. On this day, a man, but barely a man, wheels his rickety cart behind the bench as he takes up residence. He carefully unfolds his yellowed newspaper and pretends to read it while he sits in his soiled and tattered trousers. A young couple walks off in the distance. The setting sun gives way to cooler temperatures. The frail man lays a bed of cardboard on the seat, rolls a wad of plastic bags for a pillow, and stretches across the bench, covering his body in yesterday's news. Reeking of cheap whiskey and urine, he rolls to face the backrest of the bench and sees his legacy, a heart carved in the wood. Eddie loves Bren. Before he falls asleep, he remembers a wonderful place he used to visit, a riverside bench, where he would go and gaze so ever lovingly into Brenda's eyes. Tonight he prays he will find her in his dreams and never wake.